Uh, Jason here with the Pink Lady Project. I forgot my tripod, so I'm doing the old uh, douchebag selfie thing here. We're going to walk through what's going on here. So, as you can see, we have an obscenely pink door out here in the sun with a silver pearl on it. This door has some serious waves in it that I'm extremely unhappy with, but at the same time, it's progress. It's moving in the sunlight. You really can't see diddly crap. Haven't wet sanded or buffed anything, but we're in with our pink and pearl and clear over the top of that. Nothing sanded yet, but we are getting there. I just shot the body with clear. And again, as expected, there are little waves and flaws and sweat droplets because I sweat like all hell whenever it's above 80 degrees and just basic little flaws in it but it is obscenely bright pink and there is progress being made hood came out better than expected fenders came out better than expected considering where we were this quarter is the thing I'm most unhappy with I swear if I'd have painted it gray, I would have called it the Tiger Shark. I don't know what happened there. I guess there was a skim coat of Bondo. It looked smooth in primer, and whenever I sprayed it, it looked smooth, and when I cleared it, everything just went to hell in a handbasket. But <sighs> trains left the station on this one. Just kind of sprayed the trunk here half assed just to make it kind of match. But yeah, here's where we are. I mean, I'm not, I can't say I'm 100% satisfied with it, but at the same time, I could have spent a year doing the body work on this thing instead of, you know, the two months I've actually spent on it. And even then, it may not have came out right. It was not the one you wanted to start with, but, yeah, I can't complain. It's bright pink. I think when she goes down the road, nobody's going to be looking at a wavy quarter panel. They're going to be going, holy hell, that's a pink 57 Cadillac. So... I just wanted to update y'all what's going on here. I'll be working on brakes and getting the engine running because I'm sick of painting bodywork for now. But I'm going to let this paint really, really cure and then I'll wet sand and buff it. Y'all that orange peel out of it. Now I'm going to be working on getting a roadworthy here for too terribly long. Hoping in the next couple months she's going to be on the road. I said that last time, I know what happened, but um, I actually got the hard part done. So, thanks for watching, and I'll keep, uh, keep at you with updates and maybe a couple how-tos on drum brakes. I don't know yet.